So yes, the lighting is horrible. It's like 8 o'clock at night, but I just got home and this was in my mailbox. Look at how shiny and pink it is. It just calls to me to open it. So that's what I'm going to do. This is going to be my March Ipsy bag opening thingy video. So if you want to see what I got in this month's Ipsy bag, please keep on watching. So I went ahead and opened my envelope and this is the bag. This is a pretty cool pattern. Apparently it is by an artist called Clary Rays. I don't know. That's that's her name there. That's her website if you wanted to check that out. And so, but this bag is much thinner than last month's bag. There was a lot of stuff in last month's bag, like, it wasn't even zipped shut all the way. So, but anyway, let's open this puppy. Um, oh, so the first thing I see is a Chella eyeliner pen in the color Indigo Blue. So, very, it is a very fine point. Look at that. I don't think I've ever seen that fine of a point on an eyeliner. It is quite a long, um thing though. Wow. Look at that color. Like look how blue that is. I am definitely for sure going to be doing a look with this. This is actually super excited. Excited? I'm super excited that this is in here. This is a really cool color. Then I have this NYX Love in Rio palette in my bag. This is in, or it's called Voodoo Love Spells. That one there. And it seems like you have a matte kind of charcoal gray, a matte brown, and then a shimmery kind of taupey champagne color. Um, so that's the gray. And then there's the brown. The brown doesn't seem to be super pigmented and neither does the gray. I did have to kind of press pretty hard. Um, and then that is the lightest shade here on my pinky. So these are your colors. Swatched. Yay, not in any particular order. Um, these two matte colors don't seem to be particularly super pigmented, but I do like NYX products, so I am super excited. And the packaging for this is adorable, by the way. Um, so I am really excited to try this out and give this a shot. Next is the Pixie Flawless Beauty Primer. That is the packaging. This is quite a decent size sample. Um, this is for even skin tone and a youthful glow, and it's supposed to be hydrating. Um, let's see. Can't. Okay, so it is tinted. I don't know if you are not a fan of tinted primers. I apologize. Um... And it does, it does, it does, I wouldn't say it feels hydrating, but it feels kind of silky. Not like silicone silky, but like moisturizing silky. Um, and it does kind of make my hand look a little glowy. Ignore this and this. But it does kind of, in person it does give a glow to my hand. So I guess under makeup that would be like, hey, I'm glowing from within kind of thing. I have used Pixie primers before. I've used the Flawless and Poreless or something like that. It's not so much Poreless and not really that Flawless, but it's a decent primer and I like it. I just wouldn't purchase it for the amount of money. Um, if you are wanting to try some of these things, they are available at Target. Then the last thing in my bag is this marvelous Moxie lipstick sample from Bare Minerals. Yeah like says bare minerals all over this thing and I was like I can't read um this is in the shade get ready is that the shade I don't know that is what it looks like there very kind of like natural pinky shade huh that's what it looks like there that I don't know I don't know if I like this color to be honest it's not like it's kind of like a corally pinky color, which is not um, my favorite, but it smells nice. It smells like their um, Marvelous Moxie lip glosses, like kind of that vanilla minty kind of smell. Um, so I guess it's probably going to be a little bit volumizing. Um, yeah. 
Vibrant pigment packed color with a rich satin finish deeply hydrates while improving lip fullness fullness so it is a plumping kind of lips lip product um and i think the shade yeah get ready is the shade um so yeah so to sum all of this up i am quite excited about the four products that i got it was only four products this month i just realized and like last month it was quite a few more maybe it was one or two more things i don't really remember but I think for just having four products, these are good products. You get this full-size indigo blue liner, which is a really pretty color. It did kind of smudge on my hand a little bit. That could just be where I swatched it. But I am super excited to try this and see what it looks like on. Then the, the NYX palette that I just threw off that direction... Um, I do like this. I think this would be good to just pop in like an overnight bag or something like that because you do have just three basic colors that for are good for an everyday look. Um, then this Pixi Primer, I think since it does have that glowy effect to it, I think this will be great for like spring, summer, maybe to just like Throw on your face during the day, just to add some like glow and color and make you look super healthy and shiny. I don't know. Um, but also it will look very nice under makeup to kind of make you look lit from within. Then this lipstick, I have heard amazing things about these Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie lipsticks, that they are just fabulous and great and all of that. And I've really been wanting to try them. But maybe not this color. That is the color there. It's kind of like a peachy, pinky, corally color, and I am really not into that. Normally I'm like lip gloss, red lip, dark vampy lip. I don't, there's really no like middle ground for me with lipstick. Um, but yeah, so I am quite happy with these products. Normally when the glam bag or ipsy bag comes thinner like that it's normally like just like samples and things that they were just like here have this um but i am actually quite pleased with this bag so i think these are actually things that i could do a cohesive tutorial with um and like make a full look with these things so if you would want to see that, thumbs up this video, all that jazz. And if you're not subscribed, please do. It's very helpful. Um, and I thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.